Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome to my channel. It's your girl chatting with Common Sense and I'm back with another little video today. Just do a little rambling like I always do. Happy Sunday everybody, I've missed y'all. I know I've been in my A a couple days, my bad, my bad. To those that have been looking for me, but some had come up so I really didn't feel like loading uploading but I just got on a minute to talk about um, my little opinion on this whole Adrian Slay's um, beef for her siblings I'm sick of it I'm sick of it I'm sick of the whole Adrian want to be irrelevant Keeping up all this mess for these tea pages to keep on with their childish mess. I'm just sick of it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. She can't give Walt no advice. Shouldn't be trying to give Walt advice. My my opinion. I wouldn't take advice from Angel. I could be looking outside myself and see the rain falling and her tell me the rain it was raining and I wouldn't believe her. Nothing comes out her mouth in my opinion is sincere. Because she'll say something so nice and turn right around and cuss you out about it. Tell you something's coming from a loving place. Knowing good well ain't no love in her heart nowhere for nobody, not even herself. She's a very, very unhappy person. That's why she has nothing better to do than try to just keep all this stuff going with her siblings. You know what I mean? And I think my opinion of it all, I might not know the whole story of it. But really, to while Adrian was a stranger from videos that I can remember like he wasn't interested in meeting her having nothing to do with her anyway because of how she had done B-Love before but B-Love forgave her only for her to do the same thing again so I wouldn't deal with uh, Adrian I would love Adrian because God commands us to love not even because she was my sister you know what I mean they they just share the same daddy. That's all. They don't have that that type of bond with that uh, girl. You know, she's cut from a different cloth, as they say. She's cut from a totally different cloth. And um, she's very unhappy with herself. She's uh, disappointed, disappointed in herself and her accomplishments. So she's throwing up the accomplishments of her brothers and sisters. It's kind of like a reverse psychology type situation to me. Adrian does that a lot. She does reverse psychology and she's a very narcissist. Like everything has to be about her. She might admit to some of her fault. You know, and as far as uh being on Nisha's side, you know, she I don't remember really, really talking too bad about her, but she said her little stuff. But she must not remember where Nisha said she went to Adrian's house with Walt, but she didn't want to go in because she knew how messy Adrian was. So who? <laughs> Shade. Go Nisha. Go Nisha. She knew. She knows. Adrian's full of shit. Excuse my language, but for real. The storyline's old. Everybody's playing, which is natural because everybody's wanting their coins. Falling in Adrian's trap. She just keep on throwing that line out there. If you feel she throwing that lure out there. And everybody taking the bait. So she can keep her little chick rolling in. It's making her relevant. Everybody stop making her relevant. And to me, in my opinion, anybody who goes along with that shenanigans, that demon that I had said today, right now when this video goes up, I will not be watching Adrian. I will not be watching no videos associated with Adrian at all because there is a spirit, a deep, 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 dark spirit uh, attached to this woman. Uh-uh. I felt it when I watched that video the other night when she was talking about it. Just to look in her eyes and her voice, everybody better. Yeah, God gives a spirit of discernment, but hey, the junk is real. I know I'm rambling and talking fast and all over the all over the place, but uh, -uh. I'm trying to hurry so I can cut it off before she goes into her. Cause when she was she was over it and then she just kept coming. Coming back, saying different things. She just sitting there, just pondering on it, on why, 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 girl, you you missing? 
you do your mama like that like i have no rap for you without no respect for anybody no matter what kind of relationship you have with your mother you could have the worst mother in the world and the worst relationship in the world that's still between you and your mother you don't get on a public platform or nowhere and talk about stuff like that and then get mad when people voice an opinion on that telling you you wrong they right they this they that because adrian obviously duh if you ain't got it by now adrian they don't give a damn about you sis period period oh mary had a little lamb bethany and walt don't give a damn about you or your opinion it's nothing you're doing all this for views you're not doing it to get no closer to your siblings. It's not going to It can't be nobody but God. You know what I mean? And you, you really, really, they say, don't call her crazy. Don't call her troubled. We all crazy. We all trouble. It's the views crazy in different terms. Crazy like cuckoo for Cocoa Buffs. Crazy. Adrian crazy. Who, there's crazier people in the world, you know. She's telling Walt, be careful messing with women. How she is playing with their feelings. She do the same thing. Not only that, she'll disrespect them in this face, call them out his name and everything. Niggas will whoop you nowadays. They will whoop a woman. So, follow, she needs to follow her own advice. But she's really talking to herself. That's She's giving herself her own pep talk, but she's taking it out, for, out on Bethany and Walt, and Walt, if that makes any sense. She's very envious of them. But I'm so over her. I'm so over Adrian and everything. The whole storyline with all three of them is just old, old, old. Everybody's just living their life, but she keeps it. Now, Adrian's the gift that keeps on giving because y'all don't got nothing else on nobody else anymore. So, then she's talking about doing an interview with uh, Philly Phil and her brother. So, can't wait to hear that because she already threw a little shade like as if well, she, the delivery of it, as if that was going to be something with her and Nate again. Something just to keep shit going so she can keep her check going. All for a dollar. Put them in a bag, throw them under the bus, and just roll over and back up. Hit them again. I don't need a sister like that. I want, it can be my mama, my daddy, my whoever. <clears throat> I'm loving you from a distance, baby. I want you around me. You can keep that. That energy. Mm -mm. Give me my peace. And I couldn't have peace around nothing like that right there. Would keep me out of character. Something like Adrian would keep me out of character at all times. Mm -mm. I'm not going to miss heaven fooling with a spirit like that. Not me. But anyway, I'm cooking. I'm going to come back on later and probably eat a little something with y'all. Wrap a little more. Oh, and before I go... Miss Lynn, kicking it with Lynn. I hope yesterday was the best day ever. I hope you had the best birthday. I know you did. I'm, I meant to get on last night and give you another birthday shout out. And tell you that I love you, love you, love you. And thank you for always supporting me and commenting me. And that really keeps me motivated. I know I've been slipping a few days, but your girl's back. And again, I hope you had a very, very blessed, blessed birthday. And you got all the money. And had all the good drinks you wanted. Alright, y'all. It's your girl chat with common sense. Make sure you like, share, comment, ring that notification bell so you know when I'm going live. Well, you know, I mean, make another post or however it is I'm supposed to say it. And until next time, if nobody's told you they love you today, this girl does, and there's nothing you can do about it. Later. <laughs>